there, Toy here. So I don't know where you are in the world, but here in Eastern Virginia, we've been having a heat wave. Yeah, um, it's technically not spring yet, but I don't think the weather knows that. And so I'm doing a very kind of impromptu haul like I did for the winter season because I've acquired some items that were specifically for winter, but I don't know if I'll actually get to wear them until next year because it looks like spring has already arrived. Eh. And since I'm gonna haul some of these, you know, garments of clothing, I figure I throw some other stuff in there too. So let's jump right in. Um, oh, I don't need these right now and ignore the spot on my shirt. It's been a long day. So the first thing I got, I'm really excited about because um, I don't shop. It's just not something that I do. And I actually paid for something, but I didn't go to a store to get it. A lady I work with was getting rid of some of her LuLaRoe leggings. And if you don't know what that is, find out. Anyway, um, I've been very blessed. I have quite a few LuLaRoe garments, leggings, and tops that have all been gifts up to this point. I've never bought any LuLaRoe items. And they are an investment. They're not inexpensive, and that's because they're not a cheap product. Um, if you, you know, want to get something that's going to be good quality, it's going to last long, something that's going to be so comfortable, you can sleep in it, then I suggest it. Although, anyway, the point is, I actually bought my first article of LuLaRoe clothing from a co-worker. Like I said, was getting rid of from them. I got an amazing deal, and here they are. So, oh, they're my favorite color. I actually have a pair just like it in red and yellow. So, yeah, yay me. The next thing I got is from an event I recently did. I did a vendor event. It was for Valentine's Day. And literally, um, I was so sick. I managed to dope myself up enough and, you know, put on some moisturizer stuff, made myself look perfectly presentable. And after the event, I literally went home and crashed. I didn't go to work the next day. I was sick for a while. Anyway, but while I was at the event, I met some incre um, incredible people, and I bought a really nice scarf. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's kind of black and white. It's got some purple flowers on it, and I have a bit of an issue when it comes to scarves. Scarves and hair accessories are the only things that, if I am going to buy something, that's what I'm going to buy, although they don't keep you warm in the winter, unless you're having a very weird winter of 2017 where it's been hot all the time. Anyway, so I got myself a new scarf. These next items, <sighs> again, I probably will not get to wear them until next year because it's been so warm. My husband was out at whatever big food place we go to, I think BJ's, and they were having some sale on some things. So I got some really cool sweaters, very long sweaters this one is black and white and it's like it's almost like a trench coat i wish i had a better camera angle to show you maybe i'll take some pictures and put them up here so you can see what i actually look like in them but that one is one and if i tried to walk out of my house in it right now i would pass out from heat exhaustion this is the next one again it's like the other one it's very long it's almost like a trench coat but it is sweater material <laughs> meant to keep me warm in the winter, but it's been hot. And the last one, I'm not going to try it on because I don't feel like pulling it over my head, but it's, it's a blue turtleneck thing. My husband looks out for me. What can I say? If he didn't shop for me, people, I'd be walking around garbage bags, just so you know. So let's see what else I got. This was a gift from a relative who knows that normally this time of the year, we're trying to just get by, rubbing together to keep warm. And they bought me this really cool winter set. This is, this is actually gloves. And um, I'll show you, it's two pieces where you can wear just like a regular glove. But then there's also this nifty little thing so let your fingers out. Yeah, isn't that cute? I know, right? Like, I wish I could have one more cold day just to wear this. And it comes with a matching hat and 
the infinity scarf. So, if nothing else, I'll be quite stylish in the winter of 2018. <sighs> Moving on. All right, so those were my um, clothing items that inspired this winter-ish haul because, like I said, I probably will never actually get to wear any of this stuff until next year because it's been so warm and it'll be spring before you know it. So this actually is a little tin plate. I don't know if you can see it. It's a um, cupcake. And <laughs> this is actually a gift card um, from a relative who I didn't even realize they hadn't gotten me something for my birthday back in October. And I've seen this person several times. I've been loving on them. They've been loving on me. You know, it's family. And it was just so cute to get this. And they're like, I don't know how, but I forgot your birthday. So anyway, I thought this tin was really cute. Like, I'm going to keep it and, like, I don't know, put coins in it or something. I just thought I'd share it. So now let's get to the records. Because you know if I'm going to do a haul, I might as well show you some of the vinyl that I've gotten. And... Um, so one of my favorite albums of all times, I had it on CD for the longest time. I, I had it on um, MP3 also. It was in, I had a, one of those little Zen MP3 players. I have no idea what that thing is now. Everything's on my computer, on my phone, you know. So anyway, but um, to able to get it on vinyl, ooh, yeah, this is Al Green's Greatest Hits. Ooh. And um, it's not in the best condition as far as how it looks physically, but it plays beautifully, and that's all I really care about. So, there's that. We also have um, a Toto album, which this, I could, <laughs> there's so much that I could say about this, but the main thing is, is, my husband was thinking, we don't have Toto, so he got Toto, and then, after he got it, we literally have, like, had, like, so many random Toto references on the radio, on TV, been passing and we're like that is so weird no one is talking about toto right now but because we bought this record yeah okay this one i'm really excited about because it's just so cool we got a copy of eric clapton's slow hand i can't remember if this is his number one or number two best-selling album i'm thinking it's his number one and what's you know really cool about it is this is what you know the outside of it looks like and this is what the inside of it looks like Ooh, pretty so many classic songs on here it's actually in the turntable right now we've been listening to it um some of the titles that you may or may not recognize check them out if you don't cocaine is on here wonderful tonight lay down sally is on here you know this, i mean you know it's a good record you know and it's in excellent condition and he did not play Top price for it. My husband is like the best shopper on the planet. You women out there, yeah, my husband. All right, on to the bookish hauls. Here we go. So the first thing I want to highlight is, um, if you follow my channel, I'm sure you've heard me say the words Stacy Rourke so many times. Anyway, she has a coloring book out. And I've got it. I haven't started coloring it yet because thinking about doing something special with it, uh, I don't know, maybe making an event out of it. I mean, I don't know. I just, it's really cute. I can show you some of the images that are in it. Um, like this is a good one. Oh, and you probably can't see it because of my blaring lights, but um, I love the Griffin series and just the idea of having like, I almost don't want to color in it because I just want it to be like a collectible so I can just like look at it. But I love to color, so of course, I'm going to color it, you know, it's just how it's going to be. Is another author that I love to follow is um, Giselle Hausman, and she writes, um, I guess they're self-help books. She talks about the publishing industry. She basically, um, she mostly targets her content to um, indie authors, but I think herself applies to anyone in the industry. And... I, I'm guilty of buying all of her books, starting all of her books, and not finishing them. And not because they're not good. The, the problem is, is they're so good, I use them as reference materials. So, like, I'll literally have one open, get a nugget that I want, and then go to another one that I want and get a nugget. Like, I, I have to correct that. Um, I've already set my reading challenge for the year, but I'm going to try to sneak in her books, literally read them from start to finish, and review them properly because... 
she deserves that. She's provided me with so much insight. So the last book that she reviewed, it was it was um a she only released it in paperback and she held this event for online and I actually, you know, it wasn't like a thing where she was giving stuff away, she was like you buy the book, but she was giving you so much like insight information at the event itself um that you were like do i still need to buy the book yeah you still need to buy the book even after she just spent all that time out of her life to just answer all these people's questions so anyway here's the book that i got it's called book marketing the funnel factor it includes 100 um, media pitches and it basically um tells you how to get uh, media exposure and again I've started thumbing through it, picking out little nuggets here and there, guilty as charged. I will sit down and read it from cover to cover and review it appropriately. But I wanted to point out another cool thing because um, if you, you know, didn't lollygag and bought your book, you know, when it first released and you attended her event and you, you know, participated, you asked questions and you saw the value in it, she gave an amazing gift, which I'm not going to go into too much detail about because you should have been there. But um, I have all these really awesome mailing labels for reaching out to just the right people to give my pitches to. And it's all thanks to her. So if you don't know about Gisela Ho oh, I'm saying her name wrong. If you don't know about Gisela Houseman, please look her up. Um, if you have any interest in being an author, an indie author, or whatever, her stuff is so informative and so great to check it out. I'm very excited about, um, I'm, I know, I'm very excited about everything. But anyway, one of the books that was on my original list to read for my reading challenge was um, the Disaster Crime series by um, Chris Fay. And I went ahead and bought the entire series in ebook form. It's on my Kindle, just waiting to read it. And I'm actually um, slated to start reading it in the month of March. But, um, because I do follow her blog and I get her newsletter and stuff like that, I saw that she had this little like contest going on where you could get you know a copy of it and a, and a specialty item or whatever. So I'm going to show you exactly what I got from her. The first thing I got from her is Seismic Crimes, the paperback, which again, I already had it in ebook, but now I have this beautiful paperback that I can look at. And um, this is the second book in her series, and it came with this lovely bookmark that shows you the book covers of all of her books, not the ones just in her size of crime, um, not the not the ones just in her disaster crime series. And it's a memento that I'm going to keep. I love bookmarks. I never seem to have enough. And the next thing I got was a card, a handwritten note with some goodies inside of it. Um, I have a business card promoting her, which again, I haven't decided if I'm going to keep it as a memento or give it away. I feel like if I give it away, it's kind of a pay it for it type thing. I'm already benefiting from this wonderful blogger. I'm going to read her book, so maybe I should give it to someone else so that they can get to know her work. Regardless, it came with some promotional postcards that I'm definitely going to give to someone to um, help promote her. So on one side, it describes the book, and on the other side, it promotes her. So that's going to go to somebody. They're really pretty. I don't know if she did her own formatting for these or if she paid for someone, but they look very, very nice. And the last thing is she sent me a little card. I don't know if you can see it, but it's very cute. And she has a handwritten note in it. And it's just one of those things where being able to connect with people online just makes all the difference. And I'm very excited about that. So that's my winter-ish haul. <laughs> And um, who knows, like I said, the books and the records, they're going to be consumed, but the clothing, I may not see these things again until next year. We shall see. Bye-bye for now.